So today I'm going to review Whale Petting Simulator 2014. You know, uh, the simulation market is just bombarded with goat games. We have goat simulations, goat petting simulations, goat swimming simulations, goat soda drinking simulations, and goat soda can eating simulations. I think it's about time we go back to the roots of simulator games, where it all started. You know, there's so many great whale simulations in the 8 and 16-bit era. The games we grew up with, basically. So let's see if this is an homage to those great simulator classics, or just a game with a lot of pizzazz, but not a lot of substance. Let's do a live review and see. Okay, so I, I have the hand of what looks like a robot here. Um, I'm assuming I'm some kind of transformer or something, and it um, really doesn't matter what I am as long as I can pet. And here's, of course, a whale. Now, yes, I would have to be some kind of giant robot because this whale is about half my size. But let's go ahead and see uh, the meat and potato of this uh, meat and potatoes of this game. The uh, petting physics. Let's see how good those are. And okay, not bad at all. I'm petting the whale right now. So I mean, already we have a problem because it's a whale on land and not in water. So obviously, I have to take points off because clearly. This game is not representing uh, trans women and other e ethnosexual minorities. And I feel like for a game in 2014 to be all inclusive, it has to include everyone and not just straight white males. So five points off for that. Uh, also, the trees are floating, which is actually kind of cool. So it gets five points back for that. I really love the fact that uh, this game doesn't go by uh, the rules of physics or, or any kind of uh, gravity laws we have here on Earth. Like, just go right ahead and walk through a tree like a ghost and uh, another tree can just be floating up in the sky. The game doesn't care. And I can also jump. Let's see if I can walk through fences. All right, the fences are a solid object. My hand can go through the fences though. It's just that I can't walk and can I... I can jump over fences. So this is, I mean, this is basically two games in one. Not only is this a whale petting simulator, it is also a uh, robot fence jumping simulator. Um, but I do enjoy the fact that there is a whale and you can pet him. And that's really all you need in a whale petting game. I think this game has really taken advantage of PS4's processing power. And that's why it gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my uh, aquatic mammal enthusiast friends.